experience as a young mother consisted of eating leftovers. I would usually have a grocery budget of $50 for the week. We would make a big pot of food and it would last me four or five days. And my daughter would usually eat, you know, here or there, but she was still on the, the kids' cups or she ate a lot of processed, really junky foods. Uh, but one of the foods that I have cleaned up a little bit over the years, but it's still a tradition and it's still one of those meals that I eat, you know, all week long is chili. This is just a bean chili and I've added vegetables to it. I still keep it my old way that I used to. Um, and the basic recipe hasn't changed. I actually got it from my dad. However, I changed up the spices. We used to buy the packet, you know, of either mild or hot chili seasoning. And now as I look at what's in those ingredients, there's a lot of additives, there's MSG, there's preservatives and caking and all this that you don't need. So why not just raid your spice cabinet, grab some spices, and you'd be surprised what you can conjure up. The basic recipe that I usually use is one, one can of tomato sauce per one of those little cans of tomato paste. Uh, about a can or two of rinsed beans. Uh, the recipe that I used years ago always said to keep the beans in their juices and cook them. And if you're gonna do that, just add an extra half a cup of water or something fresh because you wanna really rinse your beans so that they're not uh, as gassy and they're just a little bit clean. Uh, you never know what those cans are lined with unless they're organic and they're BPA free and you know they're all safe. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll start this baby up see if we can uh, start mixing. So you can add so much to chili. Chili is a very generic term for pretty much like a, a red sauce, tomato-y stew, in my opinion. And I'm sure there's some great heritage in chili and I don't mean to take anything away from that. I don't know the heritage of chili. I just know that I love it. <laughs> I love a big bowl of uh, spicy chili with lots of vegetables in it, a uh, little bit of heat. Sometimes I'll serve it with some rice. Um, traditionally, my family used to always have a big, big thing of crusty bread that we used to eat it with. Um, I try not to do that anymore. Uh, but what I do is I layer it funny. My daughter laughs at me because I'll make everything and then I'll put uh, I'll put the chili on the bottom, the rice on the top, usually I put some butter, lots of salt, uh, you know, if we're adding any of the extra toppings like onions or anything like that, we usually put them right on top. Uh, here I have a half can of black beans, because this is what I have left over from making tacos the other day, and then I have a half a can of cannellini beans. If you want to watch the bean tutorial, you can see how to make these yourself. Uh, the Cannellini beans I actually unfroze because I didn't use all of them the last time. Um, you don't have to use canned beans, just remember that. But if you're looking for something quick and convenient, you can, no problem. So it's funny how you keep some of your family traditions, but as you learn and get wiser, you clean them up a little bit and make them a little healthier. You can use the typical kidney beans, you can use any type of bean you want. Uh, back in Pennsylvania, every spring, we have a chili fest, and all of the businesses on South Side, South Side Bethlehem will come together and they'll make some of the greatest chili you'll ever have. And what's really cool is just tasting all of the different takes. The chocolate tier will put chocolate in it, the uh, Irish pub will just make it really kicking and spicy, and then there's a lot of trendy, earthy salons or organic restaurants that'll make it all vegan, vegetable full. It's so good. And I learned a lot when I went to the, the last Chili Fest because so many people do do it differently. I got out of my traditional sauce paste, packet, kidney beans, and beef. Because of course, growing up, we had ground beef in ours. You can add ground beef to this. There's nothing wrong uh, with that. The grocery stores now have grass-fed beef, at least mine does, so you can always grab a pack of that. Um, probably don't even need the whole pound, especially for this much sauce. 
you definitely don't need the whole pound. Uh, let's go over my spices. Here I have paprika, some onion powder, some garlic powder, and then I have some cayenne, and I threw in some oregano too, just for the heck of it. So we're going to put all of those in here. The paprika gives it a little bit of smokiness. The cayenne gives it the pepper and the heat. Garlic, onion, rounds out some of the flavor. Then I still add some black pepper and, of course, a good amount of salt. Pretty much that chili. You cook it till you're happy with the tendencies or the uh, consistency. You usually don't have to cook it too much. I usually bring it up to a, a good boil. And uh, from here you can just add all the vegetables you want. Zucchini works really good. Broccoli works good. Uh, you can put little pieces of squash. If you don't want a meat, ground beef, you could put ground chicken or ground turkey or um, just cut up chicken. I would cook it first before you put it in here. Uh, you can add shrimp to the top of it if you wanted to. Maybe you wanted to grill some shrimp. You can add uh, or serve it over grains. You could serve it over millet or quinoa if you don't want to use the rice. You can do so much with chili. Let me see how the flavors are coming along. It's definitely going to take a little bit for that to come up to a, a boil. I remember watching one of those uh, Friday night sitcoms, I think I, I mentioned in one of my other videos, and uh, the mom said it's done when the chili burps. <laughs> I didn't add a lot of cayenne at all. It has really good heat. Right now, it tastes a lot of the tomato, so you definitely want to bring it up to a boil and cook down that tomato. It's gonna make the, the tomato paste nice and sweet. Mm. Um, what else can I tell you about chili? Make it your own. Add more whole veggies. When you get one of those CSA boxes and you get, or you get vegetables on sale, just put in uh, your creativity and figure out what you want to make. It, it doesn't have to be a science. It doesn't have to be anything too special. You see how the bubbles come up? You might not want to wear white when you're making chili or eating chili. Uh, and Add, add what you want to. Add a little hot sauce if, if you're like it even spicier. Um, I don't I think that's about it. Chili is a super meal that can feed the masses and you can take it to a potluck or you can serve it multiple times over the week. Eat whole foods, experiment, try, let me know how you're doing. Thanks everybody. Make some chili. Have a lid. <laughs> Have a lid nearby. Mm. Now I gotta make my rice. 